Hi guys, today I want to share with you a huge Dollar Tree haul. I'm very excited about this one. I have been very excited about the last couple of hauls from Dollar Tree, so I just could not wait to share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be completely random, not in any particular order, so it's just going to be like spontaneous. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes out of each bag. The first couple of things that I want to share with you are these gift bags. In the last couple of hauls that I have shared with you guys, I have been hauling gift bags left and right because I absolutely adore the gift bags from the Dollar Tree and I am collecting bags to do a little Dollar Tree gift bag giveaway. So. You can do so much stuff with gift bags. You can use them for uh, planner covers. You can actually frame them, use them as artwork. You can cut them up, use them as pocket letters, friend mail, you know, scrapbooking, anything like that, not just as a gift bag. So this one is so cute. And all three of these are actually like in the same little family here. And he is a tiger. I think it's really cute. You've got this like orange gingham over here. And the back is always plain and the front will have some sort of glitter. And the side piping is, I mean, nothing really fun. Some of the bags at the Dollar Tree have like really cool like piping on the side. I always do love the handle choices they make. This one is like a light blue, which really doesn't make much sense for this bag but that's okay and the little tag is adorable as well and then here we have a lion same kind of colors as the tiger you've got the orange and then you've got like this like green or blue color right here and again with the blue handle cute tag and then he is just glittery all the way around his little paws and tail, which is really cute. It's a very gorgeous springtime bag. I mean, just so adorable. So adorable, makes me wanna find just a gift to give away to use the bag. And then, can we, I mean, do we need words for the elephant? Gorgeous, his ears are all purple glitter. He even has little like polka dots over here, which really kind of makes no sense, but it's still cute. And his little toes are glittery as well. Same handle color, it's the blue, and he does have different colors here. He's more like a purple and green. And then here's the back. The next item that I found are these uh, loot bags and there's 40 of them in here and I did a planner DIY where I use these clear loot bags as a shaker card. So I was really excited that I found this at the Dollar Tree and I am compiling a bunch of things to do a planner giveaway. I actually have a planner giveaway going on right now. So if you wanna enter into that giveaway, go check out that video to find the rules and what you need to do to be eligible to uh, enter into the giveaway but I'm already collecting for another planner giveaway in the future. So I saw this and I thought this would be great for planners because you could do like a cute little shaker card with these. The next three things that I got is something I never gotten at the Dollar Tree before and it's just DVDs and I found them really interesting because they're like a weight loss, like workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these and see how well I like them. This one says dance, so. I have no idea what kind of dance it is. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it, but for a dollar, I'm willing to find out. This one is a cardio sculpt. I says 20 minute workouts. I don't know if you actually need the uh, weights or not. Um, I guess I'm going to find out. So yeah, so for a dollar, who knows? Maybe it'll be great. And then this one's a yoga fitness. It says all levels. Um, 15 minutes in a day, and I really have been wanting to get back into yoga just to make myself more flexible and limber because I feel like I don't stretch enough, and that makes me feel like my muscles are tight and shortening for some reason. I feel like, you know, it makes my posture horrible, so I definitely want to do some yoga and kind of elongate my body, bring myself back up, sit up straighter, so I thought that this, who knows? Who knows if this is gonna be great? Um, if you want to know, let me know and maybe I'll do a video of 
a review of these or something. In my next bag, I actually got something that I pass up quite often at the Dollar Tree, and it's just gift like bows. And when I saw this one and this purple, I was like, those are matte. And matte is really in, it's really beautiful. I love matte. And it's basically just a finish. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's very matte. There's no sheen, there's no sparkle, it's just flat. And I thought this was incredibly beautiful. Do you guys like this or what? Because I think this is gorgeous. I only saw these two colors, so I picked those up. And then I saw these and I about like had a heart attack over them. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let it sink in for a little bit. And I don't even think that the camera is going to pick up how beautiful they are. And you get, I think, I don't even know how many you get in here. One, you get three. So you get three of each. And I just think it's so incredibly gorgeous. Like how insane is this? And look at the white one. I'm going to attach some photos of additional colors that they had. Um, but that I did not pick up. These were the only three that I just wanted to buy at the time. And who knows, maybe some of these are going to be in that gift bag giveaway. The next two items are these cute little notebooks. And you get three in a package. And it's just stunning, you guys. Stunning. And look at the different, like here it shows you the covers of each notebook. Um, so this one's really fun and funky, and then this one's kind of like a shabby chic feel to it. And I'm going to be including these in the giveaway. And then it also tells you what the pages look like in each book, which I really do appreciate, which sometimes you just don't get that kind of like stuff from the Dollar Tree. So like this notebook is blank, this one has grid pages, this one's ruled. And what's kind of crazy about these is that the grid one really reminds me of bullet journaling. So this would actually be great if you don't want to do a full-on bullet journal. You can just grab some of these pages and put them into your normal daily planner for certain things, which I'm going to be doing. So you will see this uh, in my planner video whenever I put that up. If you don't know what a bullet journal is, go to YouTube, just kind of type it in so that you can see. But basically, it's just a different way of planning that allows you to fit in so much data. The way to fit, it's like graphs and charts, honestly. Like that's really about it. It's graphs and charts, but it's really cool. And I wanna start doing this for a savings plan and kind of maybe some other things. So I know I've been talking about this for quite some time, but I think these little notebooks are to die for. I saw this Nivea Men brand, which is really great. And it's a shaving foam for sensitive skin. It says no drying alcohol. And on the back, on the back it says, this shaving foam formula is extra gentle, lightly fragranced, and enriched with vitamin E, natural soothing chamomile, and witch hazel extracts to care for the skin while you shave. Softens your beard for an extra close, for a close and extra comfort, comfortable shave. Apparently, I can't read. Um, I know this wasn't made for women, and for all I know, this is a horrible idea for me to use, but I wanted to go ahead and try this because I do have sensitive skin. So if they've made this for a man, then I can only imagine how great this probably could be for a woman. Again, I'm not sure. I'm going to try it out. For like, I use men razors because I think they're better than the razors made for women. It's very heavy. And I'm going to be trying this out and seeing if I like it. If I do, I'll probably pick up a couple more of these at the Dollar Tree. The next two items are head wraps. I got two of these because one is going to be in my planner giveaway. And yes, I am not going to be using these as actual head accessories, hair accessories, head wraps at all. I figured these would probably be really great to secure around your planner to keep your planner closed. And they're already cute and decorated and I thought, why not? Let's try it. My favorite one is just this plain white one that kind of has like a silvery, I don't even know, like foil to it. It's very pretty. So I got two, one for me and one for the planner giveaway. I rarely find washi at my Dollar Trees, but when I do, I pick them up. And these are the three patterns that I found. Nothing new. I've hauled them before, but I did want to pick up some more for my second planner giveaway. 
picked up some more duct tape in white. I have been using this to wrap foil, aluminum foil boxes with. Once I've used up the aluminum foil, I use the box to store washi in and this white duct tape is how I cover up the box and make it really nice. So I had to pick up some more of this. Something new that I've never seen before is this mini jewelry hanger. So it's, I don't even know how well this will work but I thought this was really cute and I'm going to hang this up in my daughter's closet. Maybe she can get some use out of this for her jewelry. I picked up more of these mesh zipper bags. I hauled these in my last Dollar Tree haul and I said that I should probably go back and get some more. And I just had to get these because they're so gorgeous. In my last one, I think I picked out the blue. So I'm gonna keep that blue one for myself. And then I picked up three additional bags so that I can include it in the planner giveaway. I mean, how gorgeous is this purple bag? So beautiful. The zipper works great, nothing wrong with it. This one's kind of like a lime green neon color. And then again, the blue. So, so gorgeous and happy that I found more so that I can include that in my planner giveaway. And I bought myself some garden gloves. These are so adorable. There's kind of like this rubbery texture on the outside of the glove. And then on the inside, it's just like a fabric. Probably not the best garden gloves in the world, but I've always bought my garden gloves at Dollar Tree and they've worked fine for me. Sometimes I do get pricked um, on, you know, it goes through the fabric, but that's okay. One size fits most and they have different patterns out right now. So I went ahead and got me some of these and I found some more weekly planners at the Dollar Tree in the navy cover. Um, it was really hard to find these, I had to dig. One was at one store and one was at the other. And right now they basically, at my four stores, they're not really finding many of these. I don't know if it's because they stopped stocking it or because people are going out and buying them, but I'm mostly seeing the monthly planner. And so I was really happy when I found the weekly planner because weekly is how I like to plan. And in my last video, I talked about how if I found more of these, I was going to pick them up and randomly give them away. So I am going to be going back through some older comments and finding some people to give this to. I picked up this computer paper. Now I've seen this at the Dollar Tree for like the past year and never picked it up. And this was the pattern that appealed to me most. They have a ton of patterns at four of my stores. I'm sorry I didn't take pictures of those patterns, but this one was the prettiest one in my opinion. And of course I love anything sweets or tea related. So how could I not? This would be great for planner uh, DIY inserts for your planner, for uh, you could, write out, you know, a note and put in a pocket letter. Just, you could do all kinds of things with this. And I decided I would go ahead and get some of these. So, so super cute and you get 40 sheets. And then I found more zipper bags. I was just, I don't know what my deal is with zipper bags. I guess because I'm really into planning on my channel and I know a lot of you guys are too. And so these are really great items for that. And I picked up two in the black polka dot, one for myself and one for my planner giveaway or maybe a surprise with the Dollar Tree, I'm not sure yet. But it's see-through, transparent, and yeah, so adorable. The zipper is not as um, great as the mesh bag, but still really cute. So I got the black one, one black one for myself, and then I got this one, I got a purple one, and then a blue one. I also found some more of the self laminating sheets. You get five in here for a four, up to a four by six. I've used this, I've talked about this in my planner videos, in my planner DIY videos. Absolutely love their laminating sheets, works out great. And the only problem is they only sell this one size, so you really can't laminate anything that big, but you could definitely laminate pictures and Project Life cards, you know, planner inserts. You can even do paper clips, which is what I've done. So if you want to go check that out, I have my planning videos in a playlist down in the description box below. All you got to do is drop the description box, click on my planner playlist, and it will show you all of my planner videos. So I think this is so adorable. And for a dollar, I had to get it for my planner giveaway. And then I found this. 
never really seen it there before. They do have the round little like container for pens and pencils and stuff. Um, but I've never seen this long rectangle one. And this would be great for people who love makeup, for people who love, except, you know, to store planner accessories, washi. You could spray paint this white if white is your color or teal, aquamarine, whatever you want to do. You could spray paint this. I do love it in black, so I'll probably keep this in black. And honestly, I should have gotten another one. I, but sometimes I just don't know what I need and what I don't need because I wasn't expecting to find this. Look at this duct tape. Can you see this? Kind of rotating it for the glare. I never usually haul duct tape from the Dollar Tree, but when I saw these two patterns, I had to get it. And usually what I use a duct tape for is mailing packages. It's a really fun way to decorate the envelopes. And this is just super, super gorgeous. I got another one of these stationary sets for my planner giveaway. I think in my last one, it was like an orange navy color set and then there's this one in this like black white and pink look at the paper clip the paper clip alone is to die for and then you get these little like thumbtacks binder clips and a couple of like little notepads in here i found more of these notepads they're calendar notepads because you get the little like calendar blocks at the top but I'm really not into those. I just love these down here. Whenever I see these, I always think of my planner DIY inserts because you need notepads to create your layout and your pages. So I saw these two and thought they were incredibly beautiful. Then I found this bookmark. It's a paper clip. Well, really it's a paper clip, but it's a sunflower. It's so beautiful. You've got like the little rhinestones in the center. And I'm actually doing a sunflower spread in my planner here pretty soon. And when I saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is perfect. I don't even need to make like a paper clip or a tassel or anything because this is just perfect for that. And I found paper clips, the jumbo, which is what I have been wanting to find for the last couple of months have been only seeing the smaller paper clips, but I finally found the jumbo, so I picked some up. I think I might have hauled these in my last video, so I think this one is probably for my planner giveaway. I'm not entirely sure yet, but the jumbo paper clips is what I like to use to create my, my DIY paper clips for my planner. And last from the Dollar Tree are going to be stickers. So this one is a rhinestone sheet. Look how much you get in here. And you get clear rhinestones and black rhinestones, which are the best in my opinion. They're beautiful, classy, and I could not believe I saw these. They also had a sheet of red and green. I picked up more of these. I've hauled these quite often. I absolutely love them. I recently used this guy right here in my last planner video. So I wanted to pick up more of these and include them in my planner giveaway for my second one. I just wanna compile a bunch of stuff that I love using that I show you guys. And I wanna buy those things so that you can have access to them. Also in the giveaway, again, don't know when that's going to happen. It'll be in a couple of weeks. It's probably going to be in a month or so because I still have one going on right now, but these flowers are beautiful. I've hauled a couple of these for myself and I absolutely love it. So again, I picked it out when I include it in my planner giveaway so that you guys have access to the things I use. And hello. Oh my goodness. I can't even get over these stickers, um, but I only found one. I love them so much, but I'm going to include it in the planner giveaway. Can you see that better? I know the camera's a little bit far away, but they're just animals. Oh my gosh, I can't even get over I, all of them. All of them are cute. The pig, the bunny, the frog, the elephant, the alligator's cute. He's got a little attitude. And I don't even know what this is. This little purple guy, is he a mouse or something? Um. The hippo, so adorable. And then I picked up the, the skulls, and I love these because you get the little diamonds. So you get like black diamonds and hot pink diamonds, and this is super, super cute. I absolutely love this. This one was really beautiful. I figured that um, whoever wins the planner giveaway could use some of these stickers. They're butterflies, and I mean, just how gorgeous are these? And they're very glittery. I don't know if you can tell or not. I want to go ahead and share with you a quick little 
haul that I did at Hobby Lobby. It's really small, so I didn't want to make it its own video. Stickers were finally half off, but not every sticker, only the Paper Studio. These cute little paper bows. Oh my goodness. They were $4 originally, $3.99 at half off. They were basically $2. And I am going to just hot glue them to the back of a paper clip and add these for my planners. I picked up some alphabet sticker letters. I just love having a different variety to choose from. Then I grabbed some of these little for different sizes of gold dots. They're so cute. They were originally $1.99, which makes these about 99 cents at half off. So yeah, look how many you get. Two sheets and these clouds. I just had to. I had to. These were basically also 99 cents on sale. I had to. And then sweets, if you know me, I gravitate towards anything sweet related. Also 99 cents. This was on sale. It was in like the home goods section where it was like 88% off. I'm really not entirely sure why. This is for like, I guess this was in the wedding aisle but it's just a roll of rhinestones and they were 99 cents. Also in that same aisle, 79 cents for this table piece. How gorgeous is this? And it would be so cute for Valentine's Day. And I'm guessing this is like a chalk, so you could just do a chalk marker over this. Super cute. Of course, Valentine's Day is over, but I'm okay with that. Then they had their scrapbook that was also 50% off. So this was $2.49 I, after 50% off. I don't know what that would be, $1.25. Um, and it's all of the black and gold. You get that one. Get this one. Love this one. I'm not sure if um, somebody actually took cards from this or not. Um, as you get towards the bottom, I only got one of each. Whereas up here at the top, I was getting two of each. So I don't know about that. Okay, so the very last thing I'm gonna share with you, nothing exciting, it's just pieces of scrapbook paper. This is how I plan my, or this is how I decorate my planner on the cheap. I know that Etsy sellers sell beautiful stickers. They're already made, it's no hassle. You peel them, you stick them, they fit, all that great stuff. But I don't personally like the look of it. Um, I do my planner in a very different way. So, and I do use scrapbook paper for that. Yeah. So these are, it's just kind of like two random patterns. Um, this one I had in mind for my sunflower. I don't know if you can tell but it's just a soft yellow with polka dots. It's very hard to tell that it's polka dots. So I got this for my sunflower spread. And then I'm gonna be doing like a pirate theme eventually. And I saw this scrapbook, so I went ahead and picked it up. So yeah, really random, but one to share with you anyway. Okay, you guys, that's my haul from the Dollar Tree. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved everything in it. Actually, pause the video, I forgot one thing. Here is this sticker sheet from Hobby Lobby and look how gorgeous it is. It's just very retro, but yet like shabby chic vintage looking. I think this is really, really beautiful. Okay, so for the second time, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys loved my haul and I will see you guys in my another video really soon. Bye.